Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd. And a while ago I did a review of a something called HM2 that I didn't like. And that was the Boss Heavy Metal HM2 pedal. Well now I've got myself uh, a HM2 that I actually like. So I thought I'd do a demo of that. This is the rather rare, uh, at least in my parts of the world, uh, Squire HM2. And I suppose the HM here as well stands for heavy metal, since this is aiming for that. Um, these are, as I said, kind of rare and there's not much information to find. So I will try to do my best based on what I've learned by actually owning it at, from what I found. Um, this is a vintage instrument it's from the i'd say the early 90s it's really hard to date this because the serial numbers doesn't follow the regular patterns that they use for all the other squire models uh, it's made in korea and uh, according to the sources i have it's not made by court but judging from the guitar i'd say it is so but i suppose the Korean manufacturers are kind of alike. Uh, this was in the era when, uh, for instance, Fender moved their production of the cheap models from Japan to Korea. So uh, as it moved on and as they progressed, uh, Korea became one of the best um, guitar manufacturers in the world and still are. Uh, and this is from the early part of that period and maybe it's not like the most perfect time for a Korean instrument. Um, yeah, so this is basically uh, aiming to be two things. Uh, Fender, this is of course Squire is a Fender company. Fender was doing an HM model themselves, uh, a rather radical guitar for being a Fender guitar and again it was aimed at heavy metal rock players uh, and it has some similarities to this one uh, for instance the single humbucker in the bridge which didn't exist on a Fender guitar before this basically more or less well there are exceptions but and uh, yeah the no scratch plate thing uh, the of course the Floyd Rose style trem which was also a new thing. They had done that on some Japanese Japanese models, but it was very rare. And of course, Fender was trying to compete with other brands like, you know, Charwell that they own now and Jackson. Uh, this one in particular is, I think, aiming to compete with Ibanez because uh, it's a very Ibanez looking guitar and actually an Ibanez playing guitar. And uh, to make it even more confusing, well, the company that made this actually made Ibanez guitars. What do you know? The Korean Ibanez guitars were, I'm quite sure of this, made by the same manufacturer. So there's no problem stealing ideas there because they were made at the same factory. So we get a rather unstandard Fender guitar. I will go through, through the features now. Uh, we have good proper tuners, uh, very much like the ones you find on the new Squire guitar today. And uh, the headstock is tilted back in an uh, Ibanez fashion. It's not like Gibson tilt where it's like this way, but it's tilted for reasons. Actually, I don't know. Since you have this locking nut, uh, it could be pointing in any direction. and it, to have this tilt actually makes it again prone to breakage and so I don't know maybe they thought it looked cool and Ibanez did it so they had to copy that uh, we have a locking nut that's very much like anything you'd find on a Floyd Rose equipped guitar uh, it's actually pretty, pretty good and then we have again a very unfendery neck it's 
much slimmer than a regular fender neck and uh, it's much flatter. I'd say it's a 12 inch radius or even flatter than that. It has the biggest jumbo frets you can find, again something you can't find on any other fender guitar, at least in back in these days. Um, we have, as I said, a humbucker, two single coils. I've read that they are power sound pickups, which is a mo almost a no-name brand used by, for instance, Ibanez and Court, probably made by Court as well. Um, and they, yeah, they look like they could be power sound pickups. What I should mention is the single coils are, of course, made for this kind of guitar. The humbucker is obviously made for something else since the spacing between the pole pieces are too narrow it's probably made for something more in the gibson style guitar uh, we got the simple control layout five-way switch single volume single tone and we have this rather unique but rather common and uh, that's at the same time uh, floyd rose trem uh, Apparently this is one of the common Korean made uh, or Far Eastern made Floyd Rose derivates at the time. Um, one of the strange features and what it has in common actually with the collar spider that was the trim on the Fender American HM guitar is that you feed the strings through it. It's not like this, you don't lock the strings. So it basically it's a single locking trem system. Because uh, they are f you feed the strings through here. So it's only locked here. But it's, yeah, it's like a Floyd Rose should be. It really stays in tune and it's so solid and beautiful. Uh, we have a screw in arm that you can like, yeah. You can tighten these screws so you make it like this. It stays in place. I love that. It's very much like the original Floyd Royce I had on one of my guitars. And uh, yeah, works fine. Uh, when I got this, this was set up to be uh, a non-floating. When it's floating, what that means, people ask me. It's when you can actually pull up, not just do dive bombs and pull it downwards. It's you actually raise pitch as well. That's what it's floating. Um, but I fixed it now, so it goes both ways. And finally, the thing, uh, I should say the neck is made of maple and you have a rosewood fingerboard, the regular stuff. But the body, as was common in these days, was is made of plywood. What do you know? And uh, as I said, the squires were usually made of plywood back in these days until another company and that was Yamaha they made an ad campaign where they showed that Squire made guitars out of plywood I don't think they even tried to hide it but they, it's not like they marketed it and of course Yamaha made solid wood guitars and from then on well that was a lot of bad will for Squire so they stopped making Play with guitars, basically. I don't know if they do it still. Maybe they do. Um, and uh, yeah, it's nicely comfort, like comfort cut here, and yeah, it's a smaller body compared to a Strat style guitar. It's very, very nice. I like it. And uh, people, uh, of course, argue that plywood is a bad material for guitars. I say, no, not really. I think it's a great material for guitars, uh, electric guitars that is. Um, if you follow my comments, you know I'm not one of, I'm actually part of the team that says that tone wood doesn't, exact, uh, doesn't affect the tone of electric guitar. So I say build it, build it out of anything. And plywood, why not? Uh, plywood is good in many ways since not only is it cheap, it also saves a lot of trees because you use like bad parts of uh, what you cut from the trees. 
and glue them together. So, well, you get to hear it and tell it for yourself if, if you, yeah, if plywood is really bad or not. Um, yeah. Okay, let's try some sound then. Yeah, first here's a clean sound, and as usual, I go from the bridge pickup all the way up to the neck pickup, all the five positions. <laughs> Yeah, that was the clean sound, but as you hear, the humbucker is so loud that it even overdrives the clean sound. Uh, well, here's the sound that's supposed to be overdriven. <laughs>
and finally some high gain what this guitar is probably made for yeah Squire HM2. Uh, there were several versions of the HM. Uh, there was a HM3, for instance, that had neck through body, and it's kind of a different body shape as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't like the stock pickups. They are kind of dull, and they are very, as you can hear, very uneven in output. The humbucker is super high output, and the single coils are. Kind of boring regular output single coils, so it's yeah, they don't work together that good. And uh, yeah, it's one of those humbuckers that I even dislike more because it doesn't have like the treble definition. When I'm talking about treble, well, why not mention the tone knob? It's one of those Far Eastern turn it down to eight, nothing happens, and then all of a sudden it just makes all sounds go into mudland when you turn it down to 9 and 10 so it's not usable at all well i will change the pickups uh, i will do a thing i did with my skyr sg special but since i took that pickup out again so i'm gonna put it in this one that's the emg 81 so i will remove all these pickups so stay tuned for that video See you soon. Bye.